everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this super fun and fabulous boho tassel scarf. This is a lot of fun to make and it is super easy. We are using single crochet and single crochet spike stitches. So very simple stitches uh, to make this very interesting design. And the interesting design it makes is because we're using two colors at the same time and that's why the design shows the spike style stitches. Now our main color section um, is made separately and then we add the sides the colorful sides to it and then we're also going to learn how to make tassels today these are so fun so uh, get ready we are going to get into this first I'll get into the supplies and then answer some frequently asked questions and then we'll get into making this project so Thanks to Red Heart Yarn for providing the yarn for this project. We are using all Red Heart Super Saver yarns. You can see there is a With Love br um, brand in there as well. So With Love or Super Saver, totally fine, whichever one you want to go with. We are using 10 colors today. So the main colors are the gray and the black. It's dusty gray and black. You can see here, those two here. And then we have... Um, we have, I'll just go down here, papaya, aran, jade, pumpkin, then aruba sea is here. This is the dusty gray, but this is aruba sea. Then we have perfect pink, royal, and carrot, and then obviously black. So those are the 10 colors um, that you'll need. I will put all the links in the description. <laughs> okay, shenanigans is watching <laughs> So we'll, we'll get all the description in the description. I'll put all the the links to where you can get the yarn for that. And then the other supplies you're going to need is a crochet hook. You can use any size hook you want, really. I'm going to use an eye size hook today, and this super fancy hook is from the Etsy shop. Would be fancy, and this is super fabulous, ergonomic, hand carved handle, and perfect for crocheting for a really long time. It's very comfortable, and you can hold it certain ways. So I hold my hook like this. Okay, but it's basically a universal hook. You can hold it if you're comfortable holding your hook this way. You know, some people like to hook this way. Or sometimes I'll hold my hook like this even. And it's super comfortable. I just love the, the thick handle. is really nice, especially if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel or something. So you can check out the link in the description of this video where you can get yours. So make sure you check that out and get your crochet hook. But I'm using an eye hook, which is five and a half millimeters today. But you can use an H or a J size hook. And I was just informed that international shipping is an option so you can check out if they ship to your country just by clicking the link in the description of this video to that shop and putting one in your cart and seeing if it ships to your country awesome international shipping is great so then you're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle we are going to be using these to cut our yarn and sew in a lot of our ends and sew things together so those are the supplies and I also have a little piece of cardboard um, you will need a little tiny piece of cardboard if you are going to be making tassels on your piece so just a little piece of cardboard is needed for that so those are all the supplies now uh, frequently asked question is how can you make this bigger or smaller and what is the size so this specific scarf that I made you can see it is extra long I couldn't even fit it all in the camera unless I folded it so this one is nine inches wide so this is nine inches across here and then the length of it from this end all the way around to this end is 98 inches long which is 249 centimeters okay the width of it is nine inches and that is 23 centimeters so this is really long but you can add or subtract your rows you can see obviously i have so many rows of this you can add or subtract your rows because we are we're actually working this way even though it looks like we're working sideways this way these rows are worked across this way. It's totally cool. It's like an illusion. It's really awesome. So um, we are working across here this way so you can make as many rows as you want in your scarf. You can make it for a kid. You can make it for an adult. You can make it as long as you want. So that is how long this scarf is that we're making. And then we're also going to be making 14 tassels, seven for each side. Um, but you can make as many tassels as you want. You don't have to have all seven. Um, 
um, all seven on each side you can have just two at the ends here and, or you can make fringe or whatever you can use whatever colors you want I will have the color combinations for each section here on my blog so check out that link in the description of this video there will be a link to my blog yarnutopia.com where you'll get the free written pattern for this project and also there's links to all the supplies you can get the yarn the hook scissors whatever all that stuff uh, in the description of this video and while you're at yarnutopia.com be sure to support yarnutopia so we can continue bringing you these free video tutorials and written patterns um, because this is our job here so <laughs> big thank you for your view big thank you for your subscription make sure you subscribe and big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing all of that Big thank you to my dad back there for filming this and editing it and big thank you to you Let's get started now and make this fabulous boho tassel scarf All right, we're gonna start out with the dusty gray color color one and we're gonna make a slip knot So let's put our short end over the long end then fold this down over the long end and then pull the long end through and pull tight and there's your slip knot you can insert your hook and we can begin so let's start out by chaining 26 so yarn over and pull through one yarn over pull through two three four Five. I won't make you watch me do all 26 chains so just chain 26 or any even number and I will meet you up for row one all right so I changed I just chained 26 so this is what it should look like so we are going to work in the second chain from the hook right here we are going to single crochet so the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything so count one two the second chain from the hook and what I normally do is turn the chain toward me like this and you can see these back ridges on our foundation chain I like to work in those so in the second chain there one and two right there go in to that chain Oops. go into it it might be a little difficult there we go and then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook okay that's a single crochet so we're just going to single crochet in each chain across here so go into the next chain right here yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops Okay, next chain go in yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops okay so we're just going to single crochet across very simple so at the end of row one you'll have 25 single crochet stitches so then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row two all right just finishing row one here let's go on to row two we are going to chain up one and turn the work around and now we're going to just single crochet across so right in this first stitch right here we're gonna go into there then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay and just do that in each stitch so go into this next stitch right here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay and just single crochet all the way across so it's very simple again the next row we are going to change color and start doing our spike stitches so get ready I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row three when you're finishing row two do not finish your last single crochet so I'm just gonna take this apart real quick so you can see there's one stitch left we're going to go into that stitch then yarn over and pull through but do not yarn over and finish off that stitch we are going to change color so let's hold those two loops on the hook grab our next color okay we're going on to row three we're going to change color by pulling these this new color through the two loops there just like that and then kind of pulling tight there and then what we're going to do now is bring this old color okay from the back you can see I kind of grabbed it from behind here pull it up and over this just like that to the front and then hold on to your new color right here and chain one so yarn over and pull through okay and you can pull your little straggler we'll leave that and we'll sew that in later now what we're going to do is take this straight this gray here this first color 
and bring it to the back right here turn the work around okay and now we're going to be working our our single crochets and spikes and we're going to work over the top of this strand okay because we're going to be changing color every row so what we're going to do now is single crochet into the very first stitch so right in here we're gonna go in to the very first stitch and I know this is hiding it but if you can see right there's the first stitch we're gonna go into there and then yarn over with black our second color now and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay and there's our first single crochet now in the next stitch we are going to spike stitch so where this second single crochet is worked into we're going to actually go down into that stitch from row one so go down into that stitch from row one okay to the back yarn over and pull through and then pull up just like that and then yarn over and pull through two loops and there's your spike stitch and we're just going to alternate these two stitches all the way across so in this next stitch we're just going to put a regular single crochet so go into the stitch okay remember work around this strand all the way across you're going to want to do that because we are changing color and if you've learned how to do the hound's tooth shawl a long time ago I did that one uh, we did the same thing where we trailed this along so anyway single crochet in that stitch and then spike stitch in the next so look at this next stitch here right below it is the stitch from row one we're gonna go into that stitch then yarn over pull through and pull up and then yarn over and pull through both of those loops and there's your spike stitch and then just single crochet into the next stitch and always working around this strand and always pull this tight if you can uh, even if this does get kind of bunched up over here you will be able to stretch it out later at the end of this row and I will show you exactly what I mean and you're gonna actually want to do that because you want to stretch it out so that it doesn't um, you know deform or get too skinny or too um, you know too pulled tightly so Anyway, we're just single crocheting and then spike stitching all the way across. Just alternate these two stitches as I'm doing and working over the top of this straggler. Okay, so I'm just going to do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of this row. We'll change color and go on to row four. Finishing row three, you want to single crochet in this last stitch. So what I'm going to do is change color. We're going to go in to this stitch, yarn over with the black yarn over and then pull through there okay then what we're going to do is take this black yarn and pull it over the front of this yarn up over it okay right like this to the side to the front okay and then yarn over with the um, new color now it's our old color but we're changing color back to this color and we're going to yarn over and pull through but even before we pull through actually you should stretch it out here you can see that my piece is kind of uh, pulled a little bit scrunched so we just want to make sure that we stretch it out completely just like that okay and then yarn over with this new color here pull that through those two loops and then to go on to row four you want to take your old color and put it over the top to the back of your work okay and then chain one with your new color to secure everything then turn your work and this black should be right in front here this color and we're going to work over the top of this piece now and work across here so it's cool so for the second color for row four we are going to single crochet in the first two stitches so go right into this first stitch always remember work over the straggler over the strand here go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops and the next stitch as well single crochet okay now in the next stitch we're going to spike stitch so 
in each single crochet stitch here, we are going to spike stitch. And each spike stitch here, we are going to single crochet. So it's basically opposite of what we did for row two, uh, three. <laughs> Sorry. So we're on row four now. So going uh, at the base of this single crochet here, go in, then yarn over, pull through, and pull up, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and then in the spike stitch here, let's just single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And spike in the next, so go down to row two, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and you can pull this all the while, and single crochet in the next, and spike stitch in the next. We're just alternating these two then, just like that. So I'm just going to do that all the way across. Make sure to work over the top of this strand all the way across and alternate the two stitches. And then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row five. All right, I was just pulling on this um, yarn here and, and finishing my row, but it kind of just bulked up and, you know, squished everything together. So I'm just going to stretch this out. Always remember, stretch your work after every row. That way it will always remain this width. And then what we're going to do is single crochet in the last two stitches. So put a regular single crochet in this spike stitch. And when we're putting a single crochet in this stitch here, we're going to go in, yarn over with our same color, pull through. And then we're going to take our same color and pull it over the top of the, our black, our second color there, pull it over the top here to the front and then chain up one with our new color and pull that through to finish that off. Then take our old color now and put it over the top of that to the back of our work and then chain up one with the new color. And then turn your work around and we can work over the top of this straggler here and work our repeats now. So now repeat rows three and four. So row three was just a single crochet in the first stitch and then starting the spike stitches. So now we're spiking into the spike right here. So you're gonna go into the spike stitch from row three, pull that up, yarn over, pull through two, just like that. Okay, and then we're just gonna put a regular single crochet in this spike stitch. And then in this single crochet, we're going to spike into the spike stitch from row three. Okay, so just repeat rows three and four for however long you want to make this part of your scarf before we change color to the brighter colors. I am going to repeat this rows three and four. Let's see, I'm going to do rows 5 through 225, okay? So I'm going to do a, this is going to be super long. If you want to make yours longer, you can obviously repeat this. Just end on a repeat of row 3, okay? So I'm going to be ending with the color black here for my scarf. And then uh, we can go on to you know, changing up our stitches and doing each end. But I'm just going to repeat, if you need to, rewind this for rows two and three, or you can follow along with that written pattern that's on yarnutopia.com. Just make sure to work over the top of your strands, pull them tight, and then stretch them to make sure everything always stays the length it needs to, the width it needs to be, and change color the way I showed you at the end of each row. And then, once I finish row 225, I will meet you up, I'll show you a few things, and then we will change our colors to the more brighter colors. So good luck, and I will meet you up when I finish row 225. All right, welcome back. I am just changing my color. We're going to go on to row 226, so I'm going to change my color for that row, but I do want to show you our progress here. So I just changed color here. I'm going to chain up one. Okay, we're going to pull this up so you can see the beautiful scarf so far. It is super fabulous. You can see both sides. They both look different. 
okay? This one looks more gray, this one looks more black. And you can kind of see the illusion of it. If you look at it sideways more like this, you can see that it looks striped, but then when you look at it straight on, you can see the kind of zigzaggy style, sort of, I guess. And on this side too, they look like little V's. So kind of cool. And again, if you turn it to the side, you'll see that it looks striped. And then when you turn it forward, you can see it's like an illusion. It looks really nice. So this is what it looks like for me. My Since I ended on uh, row 225, mine measured about 61 inches long so far. You can continue going, you can end here, you can make this just the scarf design and not do the ends of having the bright colors on each end, but I want to do that. So I'm going to grab my hook and we can go on to row 226 with our gray yarn. So our our color that we first started with. We are going to chain up one, turn the work around. Okay, and I gotta get this situated here. This is super long. Flip it around. There we go. And for row 226, we are just single crocheting across. I am going to row, uh, crochet over the top of this black strand, even though we are done using the black. I just want to sew it in as we go so I don't have to do it later. So row uh, 226 now is just a simple single crochet row. No spikes in this row. Okay, at this point I'm sure you know how to do a single crochet since you've done it for 225 rows, basically. So let's just single crochet across for row 226. And then uh, we will, let's see, for row 227, we are going to change color to our bright orange color. So I'll grab that and I'll meet you up for row 227. All right, I'm just finishing uh, row 226 here. When we are done, so I'm gonna drop this black in the back here, okay? And we are done using that. We're gonna cut that actually. And I'm going to single crochet. I'm gonna finish single crocheting in this stitch here, or I'm gonna actually start single crocheting in our very last stitch. And we're gonna change to orange now instead of the black. So yarn over, pull through. Okay, in the last stitch of this row. We're gonna go on to row 227 now. Just like I showed you earlier, we're going to hook on our new color. I have this pumpkin orange. We're gonna pull that through, okay? I'm going to pull my gray color to the front here, like that, and then chain one, okay? Now, I am going to cut the black yarn right up to it. Since it's already sewn in, we can just cut it right up to our piece there. Okay, and then just get rid of that. And then our gray yarn, we are done using it. So I'm going to actually, I'm gonna cut it, but I'm not gonna cut it right up to it. I'm just gonna cut it down here and we'll sew that in later. But we can also put that color to the side. We will need that later. I uh, will be using gray again later in this uh, pattern, but we're gonna just chain up one with our orange, turn our work around, okay? And row 227 is a repeat of 226 just with this color now. So we're just single crocheting across. So basic single crochet stitch in each stitch across. Always remember you will have 25 stitches on each row for this scarf, so just Continue single crocheting now with this new color, and then at the end of this uh, row, we are going to change color and go on to row 228. All right, just finishing this row here. Going on to row 228, we are going to change color. So let's finish this last single crochet, just going into it, yarn over with the same color, pull it through, then Hold these two loops on your hook, drop that old color, you can bring it to the front even if you want to, and hook on our new color. This is papaya with from Red Heart with Love. Hook that on, pull that through, and then you can trail this to the back and chain up one. Then turn your work around. Now you do not have to crochet across this 
um, strand here. You can leave it on this side because we will be needing it on that side anyway. So let's just leave this orange hanging down and this straggler will sew in later. And now for row 228, we are going to spike stitch across differently than with the spike stitches that we did though. We're not going to be working in these stitches down here. We are going to be working into in between these stitches here. If you can see right in here, right where this part is right here, we're going to go into there and then I'll flip this to the back side so you can see where we'll end up. We'll go through here. Okay, and through actually between the stitch right here. Okay, oh my goodness, it's right in here to here. It's a little hard to see on my screen because I'm looking at my screen and trying to show you. There we go, right in here. Okay, so between the stitches, that's where we're going to go. And it's easier to do with the hook, so anyway, so let me just show you. So this row, uh, row 228 with this papaya color, we're going to go into this section right here. And it is going to be a little tricky to get your hook through there right away. But there you go. Yarn over, pull through, and pull up a little bit. And then yarn over and pull through too. Just like that. So let me get this all distracting out of the way. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go in between the stitches. So right where this little, it looks like a little A, I guess, right in here. Go in between the stitches to the other side, right under this. There. Okay, then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Did you see that? <laughs> Okay, I want to make sure you can see these stitches here, so going right in here, going through to the other side, right there. Then yarn over, pull through, and up, yarn over and pull through too. If this is a little difficult for you, you can just do a, a plain single crochet row, and that's totally fine. So let's go again, just right in here, between these two stitches, you can see the stitch here and a stitch here. Going between the two, right here the other side right there, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just like that. Okay, right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and up, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, it just gives a little bit of a different look. It is a spike style stitch, but it's worked between the stitches here. Okay, so I'm going to do that for row 228 all the way across and then at the end of this row we're actually not changing color and I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row 229. Your last spike type of stitch will go in between these last two stitches here and you should still have the 25 stitches across. Okay, so if you need to, count and make sure you have your 25 stitches across and that's what it should look like. So now let's go back to here so we can get this orange color back on our hook. So let's chain up one with the same color and turn the work around and we are going to single crochet across. Just a basic single crochet inside the stitch right in here. Just go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Oops. Okay, and we're just putting a regular single crochet now in each stitch across here, just like that. Now the next row, um, let's see, this is row 229, so row 230, we are changing color to back to the orange color, and I do want to show you, because um, the spikes will then be in the stitch itself and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, let's just get through this row single crochet across and then I'll meet you up for row 230. Alright going on to row 230 we're gonna change color here so yarn over pull through 
then drop this color in the front here, pull this yarn out of row, this previous row here. We're going to link that back onto our hook, yarn over with that, and pull it up and through that. Okay, you won't even tell that that's there. Okay, so they're going to be hidden in there. And you can chain up one with your new color. Just like that. Now leave this one here because we'll come back for this papaya color. Okay, so turn your work around and we can work across this now. We are going to do spike stitches all the way across. Now the stitch that this one is worked into right here, okay, we're actually going to work into the stitch from row 228. Okay, so this is row 229 here. So skip over that row, go down into row 228 right here, yarn over, pull through, and pull up, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And just keep doing that all the way across. So go down into row 228, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Down to row 228, in there, yarn over, pull through, and pull up, yarn over, and pull through two. So we're working on, this is row 230, but we're working into the stitches of row 228. Okay, just working around row 229, basically, just like this, all the way across. And you can see these super long spike stitches look really nice and bright and beautiful so I'm just gonna do that all the way across and then I'll meet you up for row 231 okay going on to the next row we are going to chain one and turn our work around we're staying with the same color here for row 231 now we are going to row 231. We're going to just single crochet across. So very simple. No spikes on this one. Just single crochet across just like this. Okay. And again, same 25 stitches across. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up for row 232 when we change color. All right, finishing this row, we're going to change color back to this color that we have the straggler here. So let's yarn over with the same color and pull through and then pull this forward here and pick up our old color being our new color now and yarn over and pull that through those two loops to finish off that stitch. And now we can chain one and turn our work around and we can go on to row 232. So now you can see that we are alternating these two rows here. We're going to spike stitch in this row here. So row 232 is a repeat of 230 here. So let's spike stitch into the spikes here. So go down into this spike here, yarn over, pull through and pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Go down into this spike here, yarn over, pull through and pull up, yarn over and pull through two. Go down into this spike here, just working around row 231, our single crochet row. So we're just spike stitching in each stitch across, okay, just like that. That looks really cool so far. So we're going to spike stitch with this um, color and then go back and single crochet. Just repeat rows 230 and 231, okay? Once I come back then, we will, actually we're going to repeat this two more times. So rows, we're on row 232 right now, we're doing a spike row, okay? Row 233 is going to be a single crochet row with the same color. Then we're going to change color back to orange. Okay, we're going to pull this up and go on to the next um, rows going that way. We're going to do another spike row. So row 234 is going to be our spike row with the orange. And then row 235 is going to be a single crochet row with the same color, orange. Okay, and then after that we will be changing to a whole new color, dropping both of these colors and picking up, um, let's see here, we're going to change it to our next section, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's repeat these um, rows 230 and 231, repeat those two more times, okay? So row 
232 is our spike row, 233 is our single crochet row, 234 is a spike row, and 235 is a single crochet row. Once I finish row 235, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row 236 together. All right, so I'm just finishing row 235. That's a single crochet row. Now, at this point, I'm going to let you go on your own. I'm going to change color here. I have to change to pink. Um, what I want you to do is repeat the spike row and the single crochet row. This is how cool it looks. So we're going to repeat the spike row and the single crochet row alternating, and after every single crochet row, you are going to change your color. So we're going to do two rows of each color, and we are going to change color after every single crochet row. So the spike rows are even numbered rows. Okay, this is row 234 right here. And then 235 is an odd number row. Odd number rows are going to be single crochets, okay, throughout this pattern. And we're just going to change color every so often. Now, in my written pattern, I in my picture, I change color quite a bit. As you can see, I have so much yarn here of all these different colors. I am going to use these colors. And there's more over here, too. <laughs> I have so much more colors that I'm going to be using. So we are going to change color every so often, and in my written pattern on yarnutopia.com, I will put the um, colors of each row that you need to put if you want to make the exact same scarf as me. So now for row 236, I've changed color now to this perfect pink, and I'm going to just turn my work and do my spikes, okay? Now I do want to show you though, when you are changing color, I want to show you how to um, fasten off. Now I'm because I've changed color completely. See, I'm gonna we in, in these in this section here, we've changed back and forth, and that's why we didn't cut any yarn. But now we're done with these colors, so we're going to change colors to two new colors, and that way we can fasten these two off completely. So what I'm gonna do is cut those old colors, okay, just like that. I just cut them, and then what we're going to do is just take our yarn needle and sew in these ends so they are hidden completely. And I'm just gonna turn my work around here so you can see. We're just gonna go up into the corresponding color. Okay, so this is the papaya um, with love color here. I'm just gonna go underneath these stitches and then just pull that through and then stretch it out, okay, and then cut it short. Okay, and then I'm going to do that for this orange yarn as well. Just take it on the yarn needle. Okay, go behind my work in the corresponding color and just go underneath the stitches like this. Okay, so just sew in your ends as you go if you're changing color, and you can change the color as many times as you want, but just check out my written pattern. It is, I'm not going to show you, you know, changing color every time, and, um, you know, obviously this is the same repeat, just these two rows, a uh, spike row and a single crochet row, and that's all we're doing for the rest of this pattern until row 301. So... I'm on row 236 right now, so I've got a while to go, but I'm going to be changing color quite a bit uh, in this project now. So I'm going to just continue doing the spike rows and the single crochet rows, and then I'll show you in the, check out the link in the description of this video if you're looking at this on YouTube. There is a link to the written pattern, and each row I will specify in the written pattern what specific color I used. So if you want to make the same exact one as me, you can. But just alternate these two rows, and that's it for the rest of this uh, pattern until row 301. Once I finish 301, it should be a single crochet row. Let me just make sure here. Yes, it should be a single crochet row. That's an odd numbered row. So we want to end on an odd numbered row, which will be just, just a plain single crochet row. Once I'm finishing row 301, 
I'll meet you up, we'll see all the colors that I've used, and I'll do a little bit of explaining, and then we can go on to making the other side of the scarf. So good luck! Alright, I just am finishing row 301 with that navy there. Now I'm going to fasten off. What we need to do is chain one and then cut our yarn and then pull that all the way through and pull it tight. So as you can see here, this is our section, the end here, okay, after our gray and black section here. I did this section and we just repeated um, the rows three, or I'm sorry, 230 and 231 over here, just doing spike rows and single crochet rows. And you can see here, this first section is the these two colors, and then the second section is a little bit more, a little bit longer, and I just wanted to use these two colors. So I, I did two colors at the same time, um, but I changed them up in different combinations. And you'll see that on my website in uh, the written pattern, I will put by each row which color I used specifically if you want to make this specific style. So then all I just need to do is just sew in this end here with my yarn needle. I'm just going to sew in this end here before we go on to the other side because the other side is exactly the same. I just want to show you how to attach your yarn. So as you can see I'm just going in and through underneath those stitches stretching it out and then cutting this extra and that is sewn in. Okay so those are the sections. Okay, and then we'll make the tassels a little later. So now what we need to do is flip this all the way around to the other side, to our foundation row down here. Okay, as you can see there. And what we're going to do is crochet along this foundation. So we're going to use the same exact color sequence as the opposite side. So I'm going to start with this bright orange here. And we're going to start in this corner stitch right here. We're going to attach our yarn right in there, hook on our color, and pull it through. And then we're going to chain one and single crochet all the way across this foundation. So there should be, again, the 25 stitches. So one here. Okay, and remember I worked in those back ridges of the foundation? It's nice because these actually look like stitches then. You can see that looks like a stitch going in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and I'm just going across this row. Okay, and then for the next row, um, th so this is actually um, a repeat of row 227. Okay, we are single crocheting across. Then we're just going to so just rewind this if you need to. Um, I'm not going to show you this the rest of this part because it's a repeat. So repeat rows 227 to 301 for this opposite side. I just wanted to show you how to attach your yarn with this color. So now the next row, 228, we changed color and did spike stitches. Um, but remember those were kind of in between the stitches and not fully into the um, bottom uh, or the opposite side of the stitch if that makes sense to the other row. It's actually in between the stitches and you can rewind this to see what I did for row 228 after this row and then just repeat your rows uh, in, in each color. So I'm just going to let you be then. That's just how you attach and I'm just crocheting along this edge. Make sure your each row has 25 stitches across. And once this side is done, I will meet you up and we are going to then make our tassels. Alright, so I just finished row 301 for this other side here. So you can see that is exactly like the opposite side. Just repeating rows 227 to 301 making the color changes. Now to fasten off what we're going to do is just chain one. I've already cut my yarn and we're just going to continue to pull that through and then pull it tight and then we're going to just grab our yarn needle yarn our needle with that strand and then just sew it in. Oops. 
sew it in underneath the stitches from 301 there just like that and then you can cut any extra and stretch it out and there is your scarf now at this point you can just have your lovely scarf and enjoy it or you can follow along for the tassels I'm just going to set this aside here and then we're going to grab some yarn let's make a tassel I'll show you right away um, what you need for a tassel is some cardboard and some scissors and some a yarn needle I think that's basically all you need and then obviously your yarn so I cut a little square out of this already and I marked it the ends side so I'll show you how to make a tassel real quick I made 14 tassels total and I will show you each tassel here I have some made off camera already in these color combinations so we have carrot and perfect pink the papaya and bright orange or pumpkin then we have the royal and um, dusty gray here's Aran and perfect pink here's the black with the dusty gray here's carrot and Aruba sea and then again black and dusty gray okay so I have to make one more for that side and so we're gonna do um, two of each of these and then I did two of this one as well Okay, so grabbing my royal and jade colors here, we're going to take these two ends and kind of put them on this side where it says ends. I wrote ends on there real fast. So I'm just going to kind of put it over the edge there. Okay, just like this. Okay, then what we're going to do is start wrapping. Okay, so one full wrap is just like this till we come up to this end here okay so that's one we're gonna wrap 24 times so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23 and 24. I'll do 24 times here. Okay, then what we're going to do is grab our scissors and just trim that. Okay, make sure that your end is on the end side like that. Okay, then we're going to put this to the back and put it down like this. And then we're going to grab one of the colors. Okay, we're going to cut two strands one super long and one semi long. Okay, so I have two strands here, one long one and one semi-short one. Okay, so I'm going to take the short one first, and we're going to go underneath this side here, just like this. Okay, and we're going to come to the top of our tassel. This is going to be the top of our tassel. And we're going to tie it in a knot. Sorry if my hand is covering it. <laughs> we're going to crisscross them, go around, over and then pull tight okay. and if you have somebody to help you you can have somebody put their finger in there but I'll just do it like that okay so that's our tassel tie this will be tied to our scarf okay now what you need to do is just slide this off of the cardboard okay kinda keep it intact a little bit just kinda go like this and leave just this much at the top we're going to take that other long strand that we had and put it behind our piece. Okay, one end can be short and the other one can be long. Okay, just like this. Okay, we're going to tie those in a knot right at the top of this tassel. Just tie it really tight. So I'm going to do a triple knot, so I'm going to do it once, then twice, sorry if my hands are in the way, there we go, okay, 
twice and one more time three times there all right now what we're going to do is take well kind of situate everything okay take the short strand here and this long strand here and we're going to wrap now okay so I like to hold it with one hand my less dominant hand I like to hold and then I like to wrap with my dominant hand and I'm just gonna wrap this short one just once around here just like that and then this long one we're going to wrap and continue wrapping around and around as much as you'd like for the look that you're going for and you can just work your way down the tassel a little bit okay once you are happy with that then you can set this down for a second let's grab our yarn needle we're gonna secure this part now we're going to yarn our needle with that long strand that we were wrapping with okay we're gonna pick this back up we're gonna go to the top of this right behind it to the bottom and just wrap it this way just like that then we're gonna just go around a few of the strands here I'm gonna go right in the middle of this right here to the center and back up through okay and then I'm gonna do that one more time we're gonna go down into the tassel and this time you want to end at the bottom part of your tassel you can end even in the center here there's my needle coming out of there it is perfect then you can let go of that and there we go now all we have to do is just cut our ends so slide this around there we're gonna cut these across here so grab your scissors we're also gonna cut this long strand here okay so just cut those loops Make sure they're all cut. Careful with your scissors. Don't try to hurt yourself or anything. Make sure they're all cut. Looks good. All right. Then what we need to do, since they're kind of jaggedy there, what I like to do is just kind of squeeze this all together and then just give it a good trim. Just, again, be super careful with your scissors. Good. Okay. So we can move all those scraps away, shake it out if you need to, and there is a lovely tassel. How nice! Awesome. So that turned out really well. So now we need to make two of this one. So I will have actually the um, color combinations of my tassels for which yarn I used um, for each tassel and I will explain how many of each you need. Basically two of each except on these ones I did two with the black wrapping and then two with the gray wrapping. But you can do two with or four all four with black wrapping or all four with gray wrapping totally up to you um, just that this is our main color of our scarf and we need four of these ones but everything else we need two of so all those other combination colors so now once you have all of your tassels finished we are going to sew them or attach them to our scarf and I have already done it on this side as you can see, let me move these over. I've already done this side and it looks really lovely. Okay, so you can use the photos or this video to show you, um, you know, how we 
or where we attached each one. You can see I attached them more like at the top of, if you look at it this way, the top corners of each color section. So this color combination has this one up in the top right corner. This one is the color combination for this tassel. It has it in the top left corner. You know, see top right corner, top left corner. So we're doing top corners and then these two at the bottom here are just in the bottom corners of our scarf. Okay, so that is how it should be. Now, since I have it on this side for this one, on this side, on the opposite side, I'm going to do a mirrored thing. So this one is actually going to be in this corner. And then this one is going to be in this top corner. But they're all in the top corners, okay? But we're just going to kind of flip-flop for the other side. So I'm going to attach them. I'll show you how to attach one of them, and then you can attach all of them. Okay, so I'm going to go like this there we go fold it in half okay so I want it to be a mirrored effect of this other side so I'm gonna grab this colored one right here and we want it to be in the top corner of this one now so let's grab our yarn needle and those two long strands that we used we're gonna use one of them Okay, I'm going to yarn my needle with that. We're going to come in this corner here, and we're just going to go through it. Okay, then you can let go of your needle and tie these two in a knot, just like that. Okay, then we're going to take those two strands and yarn our needle with both of those strands because we need to hide them. And where are we going to hide them? Right into the scarf. So let's go underneath these stitches here. And pull just like that. And then cut your yarn. Then stretch it out so it's all completely hidden. And there's a tassel. Awesome! So now this next color, this color is next, I'm going to go put it right over here on this side. Okay, so we're going to, again, yarn the needle with one of the strands, then go into a stitch on the side, then tie those two in a knot, and then sew in that end. And there it is. It's awesome. So I'm going to do all that, and then once I have all my tassels attached, we will be finished. Alright, so there it is. I just attached all the tassels in their spot. And just make sure you um, remember to put them in the top corner. So you can see that this one is opposite of that one. So if I lay it over the top, not it's not the same side. So these are all different colors on one side and all different colors on the other side. And it looks really, really cool. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this boho tassel scarf. It's so fabulous. Make sure to check out yarnutopia.com for more video tutorials on, you know, easy to complex crochet projects. And while you're there, make sure to support Yarn Utopia and click that donate button. If you learned this and if you made this, you know, a project like this, is, it would cost a, a few bucks at least. So if you want to keep our tutorials free, you can support Yarn Utopia by clicking that donate button on our website, yarnutopia.com. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. Thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmet, for taking the time to make this video with us. And thanks to you for watching. <laughs> Happy hooking! <laughs>